With One UI, Samsung has improved the user experience a lot, but it's been found lacking on a few fronts, one of which is gesture navigation. Now that's exactly what Samsung's tried to address here with the One Hand Operation Plus, an app aimed at Samsung phones running on One UI. Today in this video, let's take a close look at how it works. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and let's get started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So before we start, one thing worth mentioning is that this app's on the Play Store and only works if your Samsung phone's on One UI. We did try it with the M series, sadly no luck. Now coming to the app itself, it basically adds swipe based gestures towards the edges of the display. Kinda like the ones we find on MIUI 10. You know, where you swipe from the edges of the screen to go back or do a longer swipe to go to the previous app and so on. It's very similar to that. But it happens to be much, much more customizable and robust here. Now there are three gestures present by default. Swipe straight to go back, swipe diagonally down to do the same, swipe diagonally up to enter recents. Now these are the defaults. When you open up the menu, you actually find a ton of options. For example, you can program them to say, open the notification panel, or turn off the screen, or take a screenshot. You get the idea. There's a lot more baked in here. So that's three types of swipes, and since each side is independent, we can program three gestures for either side. So that's six gestures, right? Now we get to double this by turning on long swipe. So for example, I have diagonal down on the left for notification panel, diagonal down to the right to trigger the quick panel, long swipe diagonal down on the right for previous app, long swipe diagonal down to the left for screen off. Now this can be done for all three gestures, so that gives us a total of 12 customizable gestures. Now it's not gonna be practical to program all 12, but hey, Android's all about the choices, right? So if you wanna go crazy, you can. Samsung's done extremely well here. Another thing worth mentioning is that you can keep the trigger areas visible, you know, as a visual cue, or you can turn up the transparency levels and completely hide them. You can also adjust the vibration strength and even the height and width of the triggers. So if you want the triggers towards the bottom, you can do that, or you can have it so that it covers the entire verticality of the screen. Whatever works best for you. My suggestion though, leave the trigger at the bottom half so that they don't conflict with Android swipe menus. Moving on, under advanced settings, you have options to blacklist tabs that you don't want the gestures to work on. So say you don't wanna accidentally trigger gestures in the middle of a session of PUBG, you can just blacklist PUBG. You can also choose to leave the animation for gestures off and there are a couple of other options thrown into the mix as well. So now, that was our detailed overview of Samsung's One Hand Operation Plus app for One UI. So, do you like the app? Would you use it on your phone if you had the option to? Do you think Samsung should open it up for more devices? Let me know in the comments below. And what do you think about the video? Thumbs up, thumbs down based on however you felt. Subscribe if you haven't yet and ring the bell, please. So I guess that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.